Hi guys, this is Michael here. For this activity, I'm going to show you how to do an if and formula and an if or formula. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got. We've got two sample spreadsheets that are essentially the same but with a slightly different result. We've got uh, two units of work and the percentage scores that each student got. Now, the aim of this table is to see who passed or failed based on this criteria that students must pass both units of work um, which is 50% or higher. So we've got unit 1 and unit 2. So to get a pass we need 63% and 82%. We have to pass both. So we've got 62, 82 so that's a pass because it's higher than 50. Uh, this one is not a pass because it is, this one is lower than 50, this one's just a bit higher. So how do we do that? Well, hang on before I tell you that. And then we've got this one, that you must pass at least one unit. So you only have to pass one unit. As you can see, one person didn't qualify. Even though they're the same scores from this one, this one passes because it got one unit of 50%. Um, or higher. So here's how we do it. This is our formula here. Let's zoom in a little bit, can we? Nope. Um, so what we do is, oh, here we go, zooming in. Oh, great. Um, so if and, so we've got two parts of this formula. So we're looking at this condition and this condition okay so we start the formula with equals and then we look at if bracket we put the word and and a bracket uh, and then our first condition is is c6 greater than 50 this here is c6 and then we look at this one is d6 greater than 50 um, you know what, this isn't going to work because it has to be greater than or equal to 50 because 50 is a pass as well. Just notice that. Um, if so, and then we close that bracket, um, comma, and this is what we put if it's true. If, it is, if both of these are true, so that's what the and is for, if both of these conditions are true, then the result here will be pass. And if any of those conditions are not true, we're going to put fail as our result. Let's see if that changes anything. Still a pass. Let me copy that formula down and see if it changes anything. It did. This one is now a pass because before it was a fail because it got 50% and 51% that was not considered a pass, but now it is, because it needs to be either 50% or higher. Let's go over to this one. Greater than or equal to 50. Greater than or equal to 50. So, with this one, it's if or. So, if brackets or, another bracket, these are the two, you can have multiple um, conditions, it doesn't just have to be two. But we've got H6 greater than or equal to 50, uh, and I6 greater than or equal to 50. Now to get a pass this time, it just has to be one or the other. One of these conditions needs to be met, not both. So let me grab that copy that down let's see if that changes anything no still the same um, so only one person fails on that system I know which system I'd prefer so yep so for this activity your job is to create the same thing see how you go and see if you can get your formulas to work as well thanks for watching bye bye